About one in eight women have postpartum depression, and the CDC tells us that it's getting diagnosed more and more every year. All the challenges of pregnancy and what comes after is what makes new moms like Maddie Miller reach out for help in a way that they often didn't before. I was a nanny um, through high school and college. I'm a middle child. I've got tons of older friends that had all gone through pregnancy and early motherhood, and I watched a lot of them struggle. That's why Maddie Miller knew when she got pregnant with her now eight month old son. I didn't know what to prepare for, and so I needed help. So she turned to Lauren Hayes and Megan Dalton's site, the matrescents. I think if you don't have this basic layer of support that it's really easy to start sinking. Their moms in the Metro too. Lauren is a psychiatric nurse practitioner with three boys. I recognized personally and professionally that there was not a lot of support out there for moms. They created a place where moms can go to get advice on what seems like every aspect of motherhood before, during and after the baby comes. Their Instagram and Pinterest page Pages bring expertise from doctors who cover every angle of pregnancy into a social media landscape that can sometimes be a tough place for moms. Megan has two boys and a girl and says part of what they tell followers, especially during Mental Health Awareness Month, is that caring for yourself is caring for your family. You shouldn't feel bad about going to the gym or going out with your friends or whatever. You're taking care of yourself and showing them that it's okay for them to want those things in their life too and to take care of themselves. Slowly, Megan says, the stigma around talking about mental health and how hard pregnancy can be is melting away because of these open conversations that people just didn't have only a few years ago. If you can be proud to be um, taking care of your mental health just like you're proud to wear your gym swag that says that you worked out today. Of course, Mother's Day is coming up just right around the corner. They say that can be a really hard time for people who are either missing loved ones or struggling to start or expand their family. So, John, they say especially during Mental Health Awareness Month, that makes it a really good time to check in on yourself and check in on some friends and family, too.